Good day. Um, we are the group four and we are tasked to discuss to you about safe mooring key challenges. Uh, the members are as follows. Cadet Dikito Ezekiel, followed by Cadet Duga Gribble Saint and I myself, Cadet Dutra Jennifer Kent. And our learning objectives or learning outcome is that by the end of this session, uh, students shall be able to know the <clears throat> key challenges in safe mooring and for our first presenter um, may we call in cadet duga so um now i'm gonna discuss to you my mind so it's intertanko publishes guide on mooring system management plans and line management plans so with this guide intertanko aims to help operators manage the relevant equipment and lines from the design to retirement in fact MEG4 states that the plants must remain on board the ship during its uh, life as part of the uh, management of change uh, records so uh, this ensures that uh, documents and records are not lost while it is also uh, suggested that all information regarding the uh, memory of the vessel is considered a complete uh, system. So the plan should also incorporate a uh, record of changes that have uh, taken place to mooring equipment and arrangements since the vessel was and that's going to be it. So the next uh, presenter will be the same person who made the introduction, which is Easy Kill. So thank you for that, Karit Duga. And I'm Dead Karit Dikito, I'm my next reporter. And my topic for today is the line management plan. So MIG-4 or is an industry publication for the safe mooring of tankers and gas carriers at terminals, providing a clear and concise guidance for ship and terminal des designers, ship operators and mooring line manufacturers on safe mooring system design with an emphasis of the sa safety of ship and terminal per personnel. So also contains a description of the line management plan or as we called LMP for short, which is specific to an operator, ship type, and trade route nonetheless, MEG4 provides general guidance on creating a LMP or line management plan namely and must include all the requirements for the way that lines are maintained inspected and retired retired and each of these parts should be described in detail in plan moreover the inspection section should also demonstrate on how and when the inspection should they should take place so the main components include records of mooring hours Second line inspection records of plans, manufacturer and operator retirement criteria, and the fourth test test or inspection reports, and the fifth one is the manufacturer's recommendation following test or inspections. Or according to MEG4, the operator is responsible for ensuring the right development and implementation of the LMP, similar with the mooring system management plan register or or MSMPR. LMP is a live document and can be held either in hard or so or soft version. However, it must be incorporated into the vessel document control system and be subject to change management controls and to ensure a complete history. It should also be easily accessed for internal and external compliance verification and ship personal training and communication with manufacturers and for the next reporter is cadet dultra thank you for that um cadet de quito so uh, let's move on to our next topic which is the other type of management management plan which is the mooring system management plan so inter tanko notes that the msmp should ensure that the mooring system is um, inspected, uh, maintained, and operated according to the original design basis 
um, the information that is included in MSMP must be available to anyone who needs to review it. In addition, um, the MSMP has to be specific for each ship and add to its safety management system. By using a goal-based approach, the key elements of the mooring system are identified against which high-level goals uh, are set out of supported by detailed functional requirements. What is more, a register of mooring system components must be kept throughout the ship's life in an accompanying mooring system management plan register. Uh, specifically, the MSMP should include the following uh, Part A, which is the general ship particulars, uh, Part B, mooring equipment designs philosophy the part c detailed uh, list of mooring equipment part d the inspection maintenance and re retirement strategies part e uh, the risk and change management safe of personnel and human factors part f is the records and documents and uh, lastly we have the part g which is the Mooring System Management Plan Register or the MSMPR. So that's all for our topic. Uh, thank you for listening. God bless.